<laughs> so guess what? We are on our way to Melbourne. Yes, finally decided <laughs> that we are going to Melbourne. Yes, so uh, we were um, kind of away from Melbourne for a little while because uh, we had a lot more places that we wanted to explore. Uh, but it's Christmas week and it's been really busy. Yeah, and the places are quite expensive as well. All the all the parks, uh, the national park campgrounds are booked out. Yes. Uh, and we couldn't secure a place and all the the caravan parks are crazily expensive. Yeah, Compared very to, expensive and yeah. they have a minimum number of nights that you have to book as well. Like some have like a minimum five days or seven days even. Um, and yeah, and it's so busy, packed with people as well. Um, yeah, we are really not into that. Um, so we thought, you know, might as well just go to Melbourne because uh, we do have a bit of things to do before my sister's wedding as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just thought it might be better because the weather hasn't been the greatest as well for the last um, couple of days. Um, so we thought, you know, if we book a place, we can just get some work done and, you know, prepare for the wedding as well. Um, but yeah, even with that, it was a bit um, stressful booking a place. Yeah. Because again, like even in Melbourne, uh, it's uh, things are pretty fully booked. I mean, that's quite normal. Yeah. In Melbourne. It is, yeah. I mean, in Perth, you can find a spot, but. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's a good reminder to us to be mindful, come close to Easter holidays. We need to book our accommodation way in advance. Plan ahead, yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, you know, we are now on our way to Melbourne. It's going to take us about three hours to get there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we booked a little hotel room uh, for two days and then we might just crash at a friend's place, um, you know, see how we go. Um, so yeah, I have to go to the city. I'm going to do poll again. <laughs> I have to go shopping and get a dress. Yeah, what do you have to do? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to chill. <laughs> I'm planning to meet some friends. Yes. Yeah, because has lots of friends that he needs to meet. Um, so yeah, we're finally excited for that. Um, and yeah, we're coming to Melbourne sooner than expected. So excited. Um, come along with us. Yep. My mom is here in Melbourne. And this is her. Say hi. <laughs> this is Ami's first time in uh, Australia and she's here for my sister's wedding. <laughs> and that's Kosala. strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets cause we're in this together now yeah we're in this together now hi <laughs> My sister, the celebrity, who's getting <laughs> married. <laughs> oh, we're just waiting for the guys to get ready. Yeah, they are taking forever. <laughs> There's a whole photo shoot going on there. And the bride, we're just, yeah, she's just waiting here with no yeah. one around. <laughs> it's gorgeous, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, you can take some really nice shots here. Yeah. He can't yeah. actually recognize us because we look so different. <laughs> <laughs>
Until we were about, you know, middle age, she used to ignore me, and she was a typical, you know, rude sister. But then I think, you know, as she grew up, she became the person that she is now, uh, which is, you know, very kind and caring. She used to be mean to me, but, um, you know, she would take offense if someone else is mean to me. Um, so yeah, you know, I have, you know, so many instances where she has stood up for me, and she does that to, you know, all her friends around her. And, um, you know, growing up, I think she had no intention of becoming a teacher. Uh, but, you know, thinking about it now, I think that's the best career for her. Because I think everyone who knows her knows, you know, what a caring person she is. She genuinely cares about everyone around her. And, you know, she wants the best for everyone. And, uh, you know, she moved to Australia uh, before me. She came here. Obviously, she did well in her studies. She went through a bit of a tough time. And then I think yeah, it was in 2020 when um, you know she told me that she found someone, Sly. And uh, when she first of all told me about you know who he is, I did not believe it. Um, but she's like, oh, he sounds too good to be true. There's definitely something wrong. He's hiding something. Especially when she said that um, she's his first girlfriend. I was like, okay, there's no way that's true. Like, there's no way, there's no way this guy has been in Australia for this long. He's never dated anyone. And I was like, okay, that's a lie. <laughs> I told everyone around there, I was like, oh, he's definitely hiding something. And his name, like, he's Sylvester, but, you know, we call him Sly. I was like, oh, he's definitely Sly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but then she's like, no, 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 he's perfect. Um, and yeah, I could see that, you know, in being with him, she brought out the best in her. 
And I think if you look at the uh, two of them, uh, you see that they really complement each other. Um, she is more adventurous, outspoken, and he, I think, grounds her, um, calms her down, <laughs> so it balances out. <laughs> and yeah, has definitely you know made her more religious as well, uh, which I think she's very thankful for as well. And uh, it was you know like they had even uh, he had proposed, and uh, we knew they were going to get married. And it was after that that I met Sly. So I was a bit concerned because you know like we knew they were going to get married, but I still haven't met this Sly guy. Um, <laughs> so we met him uh, last year. And to be honest, the first time we met, um, I knew that yeah, she made the right choice. Because um, Sly, I, I, you just feel like family from the get go, and it just you know to everyone um, you know who met you, it just felt like you're a part of our family already. And um, that's a really nice feeling um, to know that you are welcoming someone to the family and also to feel really comfortable with you already. And um, yeah, I wish you all the best. And uh, I'm sure, yeah, you guys know that uh, you found uh, the best partner for yourselves. And uh, one thing that I said yesterday was that weddings, planning weddings are really stressful. And I think, you know, this wedding, uh, it looks beautiful, but trust me, a lot of things went wrong yesterday. <laughs> like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Uh, but what I noticed and what she did tell me as well was that even through it all, even through all the chaos, um, they didn't fight about anything regarding the wedding and they were just still the you know, same loving people to each other and I think that really shows the bond that they have and I'm really glad that you found someone like Sai to hold on to for the rest of your life and also I'm really happy to welcome someone like you and your family to our crazy family as well. Um, yeah, so you know, here's to wishing you a lifetime of happiness um, and good luck for being with my sister as well. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, I think um, like Sly's uh, sister mentioned, he selects rocks. Maybe he found the best rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he gave it. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone, if you guys have uh, drinks, let's just raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Pereira. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hey guys. <laughs> so we are at my sister's wedding. So in our new camping clothes. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh, it feels weird to be all dressed up. <laughs> and our, our feet, like it hurts so much oh, no. because uh, it's getting a bit used to getting used to wear the shoes, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's so weird. And yeah. oh my gosh, like so much makeup. I'm not used to it at all. Like I feel weird. Like that's one day. That exactly. <laughs> but, uh, I, I hope you guys like the small video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that was my sister's wedding. Yeah, and then they are dancing outside. Yeah, we just came in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't spoken to each other because we were yeah. so busy with all the, um, you know. Yeah. Right, like 10 minutes ago only we just had a proper meal. Yeah. Yeah, we've been up since morning and uh, <laughs> helping everyone. But yeah. Yeah, that was the wedding. Yeah, and uh, wait for the full one. But uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll put some uh, looper shots here. Yeah. <laughs>